the question number 41 is the circuit shown in the figure is equivalent to now dear student this is a NOR gate and then a tripped NAND gate which is acting like a NAND NOT gate and then again NOT so NOR NOT become OR and then again NOT so it is again a NOR gate so the correct option is the third option the question number 42 says that peak voltage in the output of the half way rectifier fed with the sinusoidal signal without filter is 10 volt. The DC component of the output voltage. Now, dear student, half wave rectifier, you get only one half, then it's blank, and then you get again the half. And the DC component, the average value in this case is equal to. the peak value divided by the pi because this half is absent so therefore the correct answer for dc component is equal to v naught is given 10 divided by 5 so this will be 10 upon pi volt and the correct option is the second one the question number 43rd is in the given circuit the current through the zener diode you have to calculate these are four options are given now dear student see this is positive negative and this is a zener diode so voltage drop of 12 will occur if, if you take the first loop the 25 volt and 12 volt is here therefore the potential drop at this point should be the 13 volt so if the 13 volt is the potential drop in the main line so this should be equal to the current in the main line multiplied by the resistance and therefore the current in the main line is 13 divided by 10 s power 3 this is 13 milliampere now look at this circuit as in K by KVL if it is 12 volt the potential drop here also should be 12 volt so 12 volt is equal to the current through this resistance multiply by the resistance 2 into 10 is power 3 therefore the current in this would be equal to 12 divided by 2 into 10 is power 3 which is equal to 6 milliampere now by Kirchhoff law at the junction this current was coming 13 milliampere and 6 milliampere goes to this side so the rest current will be crossing this one and i is equal to i r plus the current through the zener so this is 13 milliampere and the current through is 6 milliampere therefore i z the current through the zener diode will be equal to 7 milliampere look at the options the option 4 is 7 milliampere therefore the answer to this question is the fourth option the question number 44 is a silicon transistor amplifier circuit is as shown in the figure if the current amplification factor beta is equal to 100 and the voltage drop between the base and the meter is 0.7 volt then the collector ammeter voltage vce is equal to is a four option that is student is given this is 5 volt b and e the potential drop across b and b is given 0.7 volt and therefore the potential drop across the resistance will be equal to 5 minus 0.7 which is equal to 4.3 volt now the current through this which is called base current can be calculated because 4.3 volt should be equal to the resistance 8.6 10 is power 3 into the current through the base circuit so base current is equal to 4.3 divided by 8.6 into 10 is power 3 which become 0.5 into 10 s power minus 3 ampere now the given that the amplification factor beta is equal to 100 therefore beta which is equal to ic upon ib is equal to 100 i can find out ic ic is equal to iv which is equal to 0.5 into 10 s power minus 3 multiply by 100 so this become equal to 50 milliampere now to calculate the VCE voltage we will take KVL in this loop and we apply KVL in this loop therefore we will start from here from this point let's say this is equal to 10 and we go like this when the current is going along this IC so minus IC into this resistance which is equal to 100 plus the potential drop from here to here this is equal to minus VC should be equal to 
zero. Now ten minus I C is equal to how much? Fifty milliampere. Fifty into ten is per minus three. N two hundred. This is equal to V C E, and therefore V C E is equal to how much? Ten minus five. So it is equal to five volt. Look at the option. The first option is five volt. So answer to this question is one. Now question number forty-five is on increasing the impurity level, the width of the depletion layer increases, remains same, decreases, or will vanish. Now when you increase the impurity level, the conduction will increase. Therefore, the depletion layer width will decrease. So answer to this question should be the option number three. Thank you very much. We'll continue with the next tests. Until then, goodbye.